I am anti-Obama because he is anti-American. Never has a more disgraceful man sullied the White House, and I will tell you why. We warned Obama about the Muslim Brotherhood, and he sneered at us. He gave them over a billion dollars of our hard-earned tax dollars, even though he was warned that they are violent terrorists. And now they have proven us correct by attacking our embassy in Egypt. And on the anniversary of the 9-11 slaughter of innocent people, the Muslim Brotherhood is the sworn enemy of the United States of America, and so is anyone who supports the Muslim Brotherhood. That money Obama gave them will be used for terrorism and murder. Now, as an American, I am ashamed of the Obama administration on so many levels I can't count them. What they have done to our economy is horrible. What they are doing to marriage and moral standards is despicable. Their sabotaging of American jobs and pouring of the money of hard-working Americans into the pockets of the lazy and the foolish is nothing short of criminal. Obama's bypassing of Congress is lawlessly unconstitutional, and his constant apologizing is sickening to the American spirit. Well, this is one American who has had enough. The entire Democratic Party is one big treasonous, anti-American, anti-God cesspool that needs to be brought down. Obama is their figurehead, and he must be the first to go. It's time for a landslide of votes throwing that evil, incompetent, girly man out of the White House. Now, it wasn't long ago that Obama was insisting on sending over a hundred of our heaviest and most powerful main battle tanks to Egypt, knowing full well that sooner or later they would be used on Israel. I think it is now clear that those tanks would sooner or later also be used on Americans. Question is, will that deter Obama from sending them? I honestly don't think he cares. I don't know who disgusts me more, Obama or the spineless Republicans who have failed in their duties and allowed Obama's lawlessness. John Bolton said it very well the other day when he said that Obama is comfortable presiding over the decline of the United States. It is my wild bill for America opinion that Obama wants his legacy to be as the man who dismantled the last superpower. There's only one word for that, and it's treason. Obama is a treasonous snake, and so are his supporters. We are locked in a battle for the heart and soul of America and the very survival of freedom. It is clear who the enemy is, and our duty is clear. Millions of Americans have taken the oath to defend this nation against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. And this is Wild Bill for America saying, Americans, get to work. Your duty is clear. Thank you for watching. And God bless America again.